of themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, our most inspirational influencer of the year, we have congratulations to Roque BWD Driver. I just met this guy. He's really good. Congratulations, mate. Uh, thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. What is the most inspiring influencer? Bob. Thank you. <laughs> the most inspiring influencer, that's for sure. And our best content creator of the year goes to Hogan Lacuachero. Oh, he's not here. All right. Look he's too, too busy making content. Well, that's about it. I wasn't even sure what was going to happen tonight, but there are awards, uh, which you probably just saw if I've edited them up properly. And uh, there was dinner, and I, I went to McDonald's before I came here, which was a pretty stupid thing to do, but I didn't know there was dinner. And that's about it for tonight, I think. I'll see if I can do some networking, and then, uh, then I don't know what. Well, it's 6.30 a.m. and I'm down on the boulevard here in Zambawanga for the regatta. It's regatta day. And I went to bed a vlogger and I woke up a DJ. I don't know what's happened to my voice. Well, there's a lot of people. So the boats are called Vintners. And they're made by the tribal, by the tribes, by the uh, Samal Bajau and the Yakan. And once a year they race. Okay, can you tell me about Tupperware? Ah, six pieces of uh, six pounds. Then I get the Pudeablo Sikenke. District 2, Congressman Manix. Pinpin Pareja. Oh, see, uh, Mount Josephine. Pareja. Regatta este año. Well, there's Best thousands TV. of people here. So we're waiting for the mayor. And uh, then he'll launch the race from just over okay, here. Okay, get it up, Kai. Ella, 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 Maritime, Police, and you come in. So good to see you, Ella. So, the key of the old, Sergey. So the race is being opened by the mayor. The mayor. All right. So it's a staggered start. They're letting them go in five groups. Abang bang. Ready, ready. Ready, ready. Ready, ready. Get set, go. Oh, some shade. <clears throat> God, I don't know what's happened to my voice. Well, what a fantastic turnout. Thousands of people here, and they're all back there. But I just thought I'd have a look at what's up here. And there isn't really anything. It's almost the end of the Hermosa Festival, and so I'm coming down here to Paseo del Mar and Fort Pillar because it's the festival of the pillar. And seemingly me and everyone else in Zambawanga is heading in this direction. And so this is Paseo del Mar. Lots of restaurants, fantastic views. Uh, you can see Santa Cruz and all the way to Basilan. Uh, and then Fort Pillar is kind of over there. Can you see where I'm pointing? Over there? It's fair. 
festive down here. Hello. It's funny, some people go, hi, and other people go. down there with their tribal sails just near the ferry. I've made my way to the back of the restaurants, so I don't know why. <laughs> Hello. And we keep, if we keep walking in this direction we'll get to Fort Pillar. Jesus in the temple. We offer this decade for the poor and the oppressed. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus. Holy Mary, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So this little plaque outside the, the entrance to Fort Pillar uh, explains brief, very briefly the history of the place and I'll give it to you briefly. Uh, originally built in 1635, attacked by the Dutch. 1646 it was deserted when troops were concentrated in Manila. So the Spanish troops were concentrated in Manila to drive away Chinese pirates. 1663, reconstructed. 1719, stormed by Moro pirates. Cannoned by the British in 1798. And then there's a bit more. Abandoned by the Spaniards in 1898. Occupied by the Americans in 1899. Seized by the Japanese in 1942. And finally taken over by the Republic of the Philippines in 1946. This place has got history. Well, no cameras allowed. So. And then I was leaving and they said, can we check your bags? And I said, I'm leaving. I just spoke to all the religious vendors and I said, you know, well, what, what's going on here? Like, well, well, what is this with the, with the, the saint? There's something about people lighting candles to pay respect to, to a saint. And everyone's going, I don't know, I'm not really sure. Uh, and then someone came up with a pamphlet and said, read this. And so I've, I've got a little bit of information, but not too much. And I'm just going through a police checkpoint. So behind me and over the fence, it's really, really packed. But uh, there's a shrine in there of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Pilar. And that's what everybody's going to pay their respects to. I was just talking to some nuns. And uh, they were telling me that in Zaragoza in Spain, the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared. Uh, and then uh, what I can't get is what that has to do with the Blessed Virgin Mary of Pilar being here in Zamboanga. Zaragoza is in Spain. So it's, it's not easy to get the information but I'm persisting. But you can see why I'm not in there because look at this. You just can't get through the gate. 
Thank you, ma'am. Nice, nice to meet you. Yes, A bit of singing. This is where everybody's lighting their candles. I've just stumbled upon a back way in. That was interesting. It was very peaceful. Very nice. Everyone was lovely. And uh, I got to learn something. Uh, not completely. I still don't completely understand what was going on. But uh, I got the impression that um, it's about spirituality. It's about belief. Uh, and it's about community. Mm -hmm.